Now this could be a problem right here. This is a uh, three-year-old cow. She's had one calf. And last year when she had her first calf, I had the same concern, but uh, it's a little bit worse this year. But what I'm talking about is if you look at this udder, she's got extremely large teats. I think she's gonna calf in the next day or two. Uh, and I've done a lot of reading. I've looked at a lot of people's herds. I always see a few cows with this same kind of uh, very, very large udder, almost, almost a banana udders. And uh, I always ask people if they have trouble raising calves. And most of the time, uh, the guys will tell me that they really don't have trouble with calves other than maybe the first day with them latching on. Um, which can be a problem. I've had a couple of cows in my herd over time like this. It was kind of the same thing. I was always worried. Uh, and I did have a few where it would take the calf, you know, every bit of two, three, four hours to get the first time latched on. And then once they figured it out, it was no problem. Uh, this cow's never had mastitis or anything like that. Uh, we saw this with our very first calf uh, last year. so. One of those things I'm going to watch, you know, it's probably hard for you to tell on here, out here, but uh, compared to my other cows, this is a, uh, I would call it a pretty terrible udder because of the size of the nipple. Looks like we have us a new calf, and it is a monster. This is our biggest calf yet for sure this year. And it's a little bull calf. And I believe that's the mama, the one with the big udders we were talking about. Let's uh, let's go see what it looks like. So yeah, she definitely had a calf. See some signs of it, but what I'm curious about is if this calf nursed. And it looks like she may have nursed on the rear quarters. So she's definitely got uh one quarter drawn down, maybe two. I think we're okay. Yeah, see that rear quarter on this side. But she's the one who I was talking about. I, I hope this calf can figure out how to latch onto these bigger front quarters. They're about twice the size uh, teats as normal for our cows. But this is a huge calf. And surprisingly, if I had to guess, I would say this is another calf from that Herford bull. I guess it could be from the other one, but if you look, it's got the white tips, white feet, white face, a little bit of white on its ears. You can see it's got white on the tail. White on the tail. If I was a betting man, I would say that was from the, uh, the old Hereford bull, which is kind of surprising to me. You can see there's our other calves. That's uh, the other one that I thought was from the Hereford, and the one back here that I thought was from the South Pole. So three calves so far this year, but this thing is a brute. Now she's a big cow, but uh, I'm guessing this calf, I'm, I'm saying brute for us. It's probably uh, 75, 80 pounds, something like that. It's big and thick. But anyway, we'll watch it. Uh, like I said, it looks like it fed. It looks very content. Mama's got a quarter that's drawing down. She's hanging around it, so. Looks like uh, she took care of business either late yesterday evening or last night. It's the way, as dry as that calf is, it wasn't just born this morning. So that was uh, probably yesterday evening, right before dusk, if I had to guess. But it's exciting getting all these calves on the ground. Nah. Must have made the baby nervous. She went running, calling to her mama. I say her, his. It's a little bull calf. Let's see what he does. Oh yeah, he's a pro already. Knew right where to go. He's thinking about one of them big front quarters. That's what I worry about with a cow like that. Let's see. 